welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be making a choco flavor soya milk this tastes so nice so so good to make this i'll be needing soya beans i soaked this overnight okay so this is my already soaked soya base i'll just add water to this and wash it out of this water So I'll add water to this and then I'll boil it. I'm going to boil this. I'll cook it until it becomes soft and tender. So this is the soya beans cooking on fire. After cooking, this is what I have. I already strained the hot water. This right now, you can easily take off the peel, okay? That is one of the essence of boiling this. And also, it's very soft. Not too soft anyways, but it all depends on how strong your blender is. You can decide to make it very, very soft. So, I'll add more water to it and then I will wash it to remove the back peel. So, I need to remove the peel. It is important while making your soya milk. You can see the peel coming out that's the essence of this after washing i went ahead to blend it and this is what i have after blending i used my blender guys if you use a commercial blender you have a very smooth soya beans very very smooth and you'll be able to extract so much milk from it but i decided to use blender and yeah i just managed it like that it's not as smooth as the ones i blend using commercial blenders anyways it all depends on the kind of blender that you have so now i'm going to add more water to this I'll just try to dissolve this in the water. Now I will get my sieve, get my cheese clothes, pour all of these inside of it and I will start squeezing out the milk.
Now next I will cook my soya milk. So I will cook this until it gets ready. You need to stir because if you don't stir, your soya milk will stick to the pot. It may stick to the pot if you're using a non-sticky pot and it may burn. Okay, so you want to keep stirring this. Keep stirring. I didn't get enough milk from my soya milk because of the blender. So you want to, if you're making this for commercial purposes, you want to use a commercial blender or you get a very sharp blender to blend your milk. So allow the soya milk to boil for some time before I will bring it down. So now I'm going to sieve my soya milk. This step is very important, very, very important. Look at what we got out. So this is my soya milk. I'll put it in the fridge to cool down. And then this is what I have. And I also separated some of it, okay? Um, to this, I'm going to add one over three cup of my condensed milk. And then because this is cool, it took time for me to dissolve the condensed milk, but it's something I will keep trying to dissolve. Next, I'm going to add my chocolate to this. So this is the one I have here. You can use any other one. So I will quickly add this in and I will blend it. Blend using my spatula. Okay. Now, this soya milk does not require any other kind of sugar because the condensed milk that I added already is a sweet milk and then this chocolate I'm using is already a sweet chocolate so you don't need sugar at as a matter of fact this soya milk tastes so nice so so nice you guys you won't even believe it <laughs> you have to try this out you won't believe it it tastes so so nice now you don't need to add sugar to this okay okay now the next thing I'm going to do is to strain this because I wasn't too sure that I was able to dissolve the chocolate properly. So I'm going to strain this so I will have a clear and clean soya milk, choco soya milk. And then if you want to preserve this, if you're making this for commercial purpose and you want to you want to preserve it, you want it to last up to um two weeks one month then you want to watch the video i posted before this very one on how to use preservative food preservative to preserve your drinks okay so guys this is it it's so sweet i'm not hyping it you need to try this out <laughs> 
thanks for watching please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel